Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Edweta QT theme to make QT applications look normal on GTK desktop. So I have a QT application that I use, and it's called Caden Live. It's my video editor of choice, and as you can see, it's not using the traditional GTK setup. Like it, the window manager is being handled, but this is the traditional Breeze theme and it uses the breeze icons and all that stuff. So that's not what I want. So I wanna use Edway to QT. So to start off, you're gonna to need to check the article below and find out all the dependencies you'll need to install. But once you do that, you can grab the source code, open up a terminal and get started. So we start off by cloning, in, cloning the source code into Edway to QT. And uh, it'll take a little bit of time now once that's done we can go into Edway to QT we can make our build directory with mkdir build then cd into the build folder from there we can do the cmake command which is cmake dc make install prefix path equals usr dot dot forgot the E. Okay, so the C compiler goes through and it checks that all the stuff, the build files are there. Now we just run make. Now make is going to build everything the way it should be built. May take a bit of time depending on your CPU power. I have a six core CPU. It's a very high end CPU. So it's not gonna be super slow so we can do it in real time here but if you've got a single core or a dual core or something it's going to take a lot longer i know it's just a theme file so you so you know you wouldn't expect that but building stuff takes time so now once the building is complete we can do sudo make install now alternatively if you'd like to install this as a single user you could do make install And uh, now that that's working, we need to use the LXQT configuration app. Now this is outlined in the instructions, but basically on the article, but basically the reason we need LXQT and not our normal theme setup here is because if I go into themes, this is only GTK stuff. So you're not gonna see it way to QT in here. Instead, like I said, we need the LXQT app, LXQT config. Once that's open, we can go to appearance. Now this is going to modify the way that uh, our QT looks. So I can click add way to, and uh, I can click close and that will automatically modify that. And I can also go back to icons and I can make sure that it's using the same icons as well. Now, if I go back to Caden Live, it should be loading the add way to theme. Now, not every QT application will look exactly the same, but overall, it should make it so that most Qt applications that you use on Linux make use of this theme and look a little similar to this in this icon or in this picture here. It's not perfect, but if you are sick of the way that these two toolkits look and how they mix with each other in a weird way, uh, you know, this is always a good choice. So please check out the link in the description to learn how to get Qt Edway Qt installed on your system. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.